Wow. Now that is a secret. Right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, it's a seafood lover's delight. It's we use the salmon belly, which is also the fatty, most flavorful parts. All right. The catch of the day is the dish that traces its roots to the fishing docks of San Francisco. Fish heads, uh, spines, whatever could get flavor that you could constitute to make a soup out of. And we're eating healthy with Thai stir fry. It's all coming your way right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Hi everybody and welcome to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs right here in Paris Town in our kitchen theater. I'm Kevin Harnett along with my broadcast partner Tim Laird. And Kevin, it's a great day to be in kitchen theater because I'll tell you what, we have one incredible chef joining us. Our guest today is Kentucky's very own Lee Mayfield who has quite a resume. He's fried fish at Turner's and cooked burgers at Louisville's Tin Pen Lanes, and he did two combat tours with the Marines in the Middle East. And now, he's one of Kentucky's top chefs running the kitchen at the Louisville Thoroughbred Society in downtown Louisville. Yeah, Tim, and what a great place. It's like a country club centered around horse racing instead of golf. And there's racing simulcast and bedding machines with a cigar lounge and a huge rooftop patio and some amazing food. Everything from bar bites to fine dining. So Tim, what do you say we get cooking with the chef from the Louisville Thoroughbred Society? Here's Lee Mayfield. Come on down. Hello, Tim. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're glad to have you. Thank you. The, the latest and hottest and greatest thing is the Louisville Thoroughbred Society for people who are like, hey, that sounds new. I don't even know what it is. Tell them what it is. It is. So uh, we're a members-only society for off-track horse racing. So we, when you go to Churchill Downs or any other track, uh, horse track, they have a betting machine like a terminal. We're one of the only places in the United States that's not a horse track that has, we have 12 of those terminals. And when we say it's a members-only society, we're trying to get away from the, the old school members-only secret handshake, only you know, adult men. We're, we're about young professionals and people that are doing big things in Louisville as well. Yeah. That's great. And I'll tell you, Chef, from our introduction, you've done quite a tour. Uh, served as a Marine for us. Uh, uh, yeah, I did, I did two tours, one in Iraq you. and one in Afghanistan. It, excellent. <laughs> now, did you do any cooking while you were over there? Uh, believe it or not, I make the joke nowadays now in my chef career that took to, uh, going to two combat tours to realize I want to cook food for people. <laughs> they for called you. me chef in the Marine Corps because I can make an MRE taste good, so I guess there's that. <laughs> that's, well, that that's is a talent, talent, right? That's, right, that's, right there. They say it's a talent. Well, you mentioned all the great things about the uh, Thoroughbred Society, but uh, you did not mention the great food, and, uh, and, and you're being humble because the <laughs> food is amazing there. It is, and it's a, it's a really uh, niche kind of kitchen. Like Usually you kind of have a, something you're going after, an idea or whatever, but with our clientele, we, uh, we have a sit-down lunch five days a week. We, can, we kind of attribute that to like a uh, country club lunch, you know, soup, salad, sandwich is very light affair. And then at night, we kind of change into what I call like an adult snack bar. We, you know, we have everything. We've done Reuben wontons. To, I've done country boy sushi with fried chicken in the middle. Uh, and then we still appease to like the lighter fare with just chicken, you know, good old chicken bites. Believe it or not, it's our number one seller. <laughs> Imagine that. Adults right? like Everybody chicken. loves yeah. it. What are we cooking today? Uh, so our first dish today is, is called Pad CU. Uh, it's a traditional Thai stir fry. So my idea with this is it's a vegan vegetarian. You can make options. You can add meats and whatnot. All right, so we're gonna get. You're gonna want to check your pan. This might take a second with that thermometer Ooh. you got there. But you can also do that too. Like so, if you don't have a wok, what we do is oh. we'll flip the pan over so you can raise your surface area now temperature. You get it hot. Wow. Now that is a secret. <laughs> We've never seen that done. I, never. Out of the, this is the first decades time this has of been secrets. Done. We've never seen anybody flip the pan over on the. That, stove that's a uh, that's the old line cook trick uh, on the line when you forgot that you need to have a pan hot, hot. and you got to do it in a, in a hurry. So. All right. <laughs> I like that. But see, this dish. I mean, it doesn't have to be like the wok generally has the high heat and you're gonna. I mean, bring it. But like this dish. You can moderately simmer. It's not that big of a deal if it has to be scorching, bubbling in your face. Got it. So what we do is just a little bit of liquid at the first. And what'd you say that sauce was, Chef? So this is a stir fry sauce that I make. It's got everything. So we've got it's got fresh garlic and ginger. It's got a uh, dark soy sauce, which is a sweeter, thicker soy sauce. So we'll put our mushrooms since we're already cooked a little bit. And what kind of mushroom? Just regular button mushrooms? These are or? yeah. These are shiitakes that I shiitakes. cooked down a little bit. Excellent. And then I mean, you can put the thing with this is like with all the vegetables, you can put everything in there at the same time. Nice. So it's our tofu. Uh, I call it Chinese broccoli, but you can also call it broccolini, baby broccoli. They're very similar. Wow. You want to make sure you coat that real good? Yeah, I can see that's getting a nice coating on there. Mm -hmm. Everything's looking good. Nice color in the pan with the green. Mm. And that just cooks down enough to 
Just enough to pull a little bit of the moisture out. Yeah. And it's like you say, like with the vegetables, that's what's good is that you don't really have to like the wok style where you have to sear it really hard. This just soften them up. Everything's edible as it is. You could eat every one of these things already the way they are. Because you mm -hmm. still want to have a little crunch on the vegetables too, right? Yes. You don't want to be all you don't soggy overdo. and overdone. We're going to add our noodles. So the tradition, the idea behind this is you have your pan going real hot and what you want to do is you want to sear off your noodles. You want to get a little bit of brown color to your noodles. Oh, so that gives them a little uh, texture. It gives them texture and it kind of like, it, a little flavor. it kind of absorbs when you, so it gives it a, a, an outside coating. So when you put your liquid in, it'll kind of retain that liquid instead of letting it out. And what kind of noodle is that, Chef? So I was going to say, so this is one thing that, that people are scared about, the actual noodles themselves. So I can get the, you can get these at any uh, Asian market in, in town. I go to Viet Ho on Preston Highway. And I've seen even in some of our other grocery stores that they have an Asian section. That you, they they usually have a selection noodle, noodle, so you can go right there. Uh, but what we're going to let this do, we're going to let this sauce reduce down uh, about, about half till it starts. What you're looking for this is when the sauce actually starts sticking to your noodles. Okay. And then, you're, then right at that point, you're going to put on your plate, and then we're going to finish with our garnishes. All right. All right, so basically the sauce cooked down, you got some color on the noodles, and yep. you're ready to plate. You're ready to plate, yes, sir. All right. All right, so with any kind of pasta or any kind of noodle, what I always tell people that work with me is the, goodie, the, the phrase goodies first. So you want to grab your noodles and put them on the bottom. So we put that right in the middle of the plate. And then after which, you can put your veggies on top. And that tofu picks up all the flavors of that sauce mm. and the mushrooms and everything in there. And that's the great part about tofu is it, really, it literally takes on whatever flavor that you put around it's it. It's like a sponge. So we're going to do our Napa Valley cabbage first, sliced real thin. That's, that you said uh, gives it a little crunch on that. Just a little bit of crunch. And then we got our pulverized peanuts and cilantro. So I'm kind of taking That's this. That's an interesting combo. So believe it or not, so Pad CU and Pad Thai, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with Pad Thai. So Pad CU is Pad Thai being the sweet and kind of uh, sour kind of part. Pad CU is a salty and tangy kind of part. Okay. So I'm taking this. This is traditionally on Pad Thai, but I'm just gonna, I like peanuts and cilantro on top of my noodle dishes. So we're doing that. And right there is our finished dish. Beautiful. Look at that. I'll there tell you what, you Chef, it. that looks awesome. <laughs> Chef Lee Mayfield at work right here on Secrets. Very nice. That's one dish down. We're not uh, <laughs> stopping there, though. You've got another dish you're going to share the secrets to? I am. I'm doing a uh, traditional chipino. The chipino. You guys want to see that? Well, you're going to have a chance to see it and taste it when we come back on Secrets of Bluegrass Chef. Stay with us, everybody. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of the Kentucky Beef Council. Beef is still what's for dinner. How do you like that? If you like Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV, you'll love to see it in person. Great time. Fabulous. Join us at the Secrets Kitchen Theater in Louisville's historic Paris town. This is a great experience. I love that. Watch top chefs reveal their secrets. And I don't really hold back on this stuff. Mm. And then taste everything everything they make. I love this. Delicious. You can also enjoy all the other fun and shopping Paris Town has to offer while you're there. We had a really good time. Get your tickets now online at mintjuleptours.com and hurry because space is limited. This is so good and so popular. Watch Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV and see it in person by going to mintjuleptours.com. It was outstanding. Make your reservations today. Still cooking. Appreciate you sharing the secrets. I'm Kevin Harnett, back with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, and it's time now to take another tasty trip to one of Kentucky's amazing state parks. This time, we visit Carter Cave State Park in Carter County, which is surrounded by woodlands and hiking trails. You can fish, mountain bike, and ride horses. We have a bunch of uh, different caves. And then dig into amazing food at Tyranny's Cavern, made by Chef Caleb Mabry. I uh, grew up in Carter County. I'm a local born and bred. Today, the chef is sharing his secrets to his fish tacos, made with Kentucky catfish. I use a uh, Weisenberger wet uh, fish fritter. It's uh, locally sourced. And then we'll be uh, taking our catfish fillets. So I've cut those down the middle and kind of turned them into these uh, longer strips like this. And we'll be putting those into the wet batter so that they're nice and covered. 
and deep frying those to a golden brown until they're nice and flaky in the middle. For the taco shell, Chef Caleb flash fries flour tortillas. Deep frying your own tortilla fresh like this kind of brings a little something extra to the dish. And just kind of fold this over, kind of get its form. Lay the uh, filet right there in the middle. The lettuce, top that on here. We'll go with our pico de gallo, Cajun remoulade. Drizzle that right over the top. Then we'll take a lime and just give it a little fresh squeeze right over the top. Fried fish tacos at Tyranny's Cavern at Carter Cave State Resort Park. Come check it out, it's the hidden gem of the park. Zucker is spotlighting local restaurants. Download the free Zucker app and save at hundreds of local businesses right from your mobile phone. Here's today's local Spotlight restaurant. Hey guys, I'm Sam Cruz, one of the owners of Against the Grain Brewery and Public House. Here we're known for amazing craft beers that we produce in-house, our pretzel with house-made pimento cheese and spicy brown mustard. Here we have our Dirty Burger featuring two all-beef patties, dressed, and our ATG secret sauce. It's easy peasy to order takeout here at the Public House. You can order online, you can call in, or just come on in and place an order. Here at the Public House, we take your health very seriously. So stop on in at the Public House by Against the Grain. Go to the Deal Marketplace section of the free Zucker app, select their deal, and save. Purchase the deal and save big while knowing you're helping a local restaurant. While on the Zucker app, join their VIP loyalty club and receive exclusive offers via email and text message. X-O-O-K-E-R Zucker. Download Zucker and start saving big today. It's a bluegrass chef's right here at Paris Town. If you have not discovered Paris Town yet, you've got to come down here. It's where Louisville Stoneware was born and is now thriving as Stoneware and Company. And if you like to shop, you'll be in heaven here. Paris Town is also home to our Secrets of Bluegrass Chef's Kitchen Theater, where we have a fantastic studio audience. How about you guys? I'm Kevin Harnett along with Tim Laird. And Kevin, we have the honor this time of cooking with Lee Mayfield from the Louisville Thoroughbred Society. Yeah, it's been fun so far. You guys had a chance to take a taste in the commercial break. Good? Yeah. Great. There we you go, it Chef. It works right. out like that. Well, that's one dish down. As we went to commercial break, we said we've had more secrets to share. And Lee, during the commercial break, was telling us a little bit about this dish. It's called Chipino. Chipino. So uh, the origins, so it's a traditional bouillie-based stew. The, Bouillie based, the word, is a, a tomato based stew that comes from Mar uh, Marseille in France. Okay. Bouillie based comes from San Francisco uh, in the wharfs where the fishermen would come back in the dock. Uh, there'd be one guy walking around with like a bag and they would you know, ask for all the off cuts and they would chip in, like chipino, chip it in. So, uh, in the origin of this stew, it was really just whatever off cut you had fish heads, uh, spines, whatever could get flavor that you could constitute to make a soup out of. Yeah, pitch it in. Yeah, chip pitch in. it in, chip it in. <laughs> but now we've evolved it to something uh, with not fish heads and cod <laughs> and tails, but uh, actually really nice fresh fish. Yes, this, I was gonna say, this is the chef version of this where I get to uh, pick and choose whatever kind of fish that I think is eating. Excellent, all right. <laughs> where do we start? As we start to make it, we make the base first. Yes, yeah, so with this, with it being a stew, like so the emphasis is on building. So you don't wanna add one ingredient before the next. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our pan mildly hot, uh, with this one, obviously, we need to start a little bit earlier. We're going to add our oil. 
hopefully not smoking. So it's smoking a little bit, but that's okay. So we're gonna add our fennel. Yep. Our shallot. We're gonna have to use all of it. An onion. We're gonna let that simmer down for a little bit. We don't wanna add our garlic first, because what you do when you add that garlic first is you're gonna scorch the garlic, it's gonna take off the burnt flavor. We all know there's nothing that tastes worse than burnt garlic. And once you burn it, you can't go back. There's no, no, you gotta start over. Throw everything no over, right? <laughs> the story That's of my great. life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so about halfway through of our saute on that, we're gonna add. Uh, I'd say about two tablespoons of garlic. That's a, it isn't, well, let's say three. That's a hefty just, amount. Let's say three, because it's Italian dish, right? That's right. I mean, you can't even have garlic in the Italian. And so you're going to start smelling that garlic real hard. And once you have the garlic, you're not going to saute it too long once again, because you'll burn the garlic. All those flavors, that. yeah. It's coming out. All the flavors coming together. All right, once we got that activated, we're going to go ahead and hit it with our diced tomatoes that we have, with juice on, with our juice in there. So that's going to be part of our sauce. Oh, that's a good secret. So you don't drain the, the juice off the tomato. The I actually tomato. crush them up, believe it or not. Oh, you crush them. Hand crush them. Well, you're a Marine. You can crush them. I'll crush Yeah, that's <laughs> to take my anger out some way. You're right. So as soon as you get those tomatoes in there, you can go ahead and add your stock as well. All right. All right. And that was a fish stock, basically, right? That was a seafood base. Uh, you can really use any kind of, I mean, you can use chicken stock. Okay. Basically. I just have, like I said, the chef version, so I have access to that, that seafood, good seafood stock. All right, and then we're just gonna bring that to a boil? We're gonna bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna take it down to a simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, well, we'll take a quick break while we get this to a boil. We've got seafood to add when we come back. You're watching Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs with Lee Mayfield from the Louisville Thoroughbred Society. We'll be right back. Ditto's, one of the region's top chefs, is preparing your next meal, like the French Quarter Pork Chop Portofino or Ditto's Chicken Marsala and Citrus Salad. Ditto's Grill, delightful, delectable, delicious. It's got to be Ditto's. Bardstown Road at Grinstead Drive. Nicely done, beef. You might be the only meat with a knife named after you. A protein like no other. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982. Kevin Harnett back with you on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, and right now it's time for another Wine Find with John Johnson at the Wine Rack. Thanks, Kevin. This evening we have two incredible bargain Bordeaux's, one Blanc, one Rouge, and the Blanc has uh, been the best-selling French white wine for the Wine Rack for the last five years running, and uh, one of my favorite people in the industry as well. It's owned by a woman named Veronique Barth. I got to meet her recently at her winery. The winery has been in the family since 1789, I believe, and was passed down uh, from generation to generation, father to son, father to son, father to son, seven generations. And then Veronique inherited it in 1992 at the age of 22. She's the first woman to be born into the family since the French Revolution and she has done an incredible job. This is a what I would consider a good standard format for a Bordeaux Blanc. By that I mean it's a blend. It's 60% Sauvignon Blanc. The Sauvignon Blanc gives you a lot of bright, fresh citrus fruit, a little grapefruit, a little bit of uh, lemon zest, a lime. The Simeon rounds the wine out just a little bit. It adds a little bit of richness, and the Muscadel adds a little bit of a floral lift to it. The wine's $12.99, and I think is just an amazing value. Uh, on the red side, we have Bordeaux Rouge, and this is, I think, one of the best reds under $20 from anywhere around the, around the world. This is from Chateau Bellevue Pays uh, It's a 2019, which is an excellent vintage. Uh, this wine is called a Bordeaux Superior. Sounds fancy, sounds like it's a step up, and it is a step up. The wine has to be made from uh, lower yields, um, has to be from older vines, and the wine has to spend at least one year in oak. Medium tannins, bright acidity, goes with a huge range of foods, everything from salmon to pork to beef and in between, and I think one of the best values that you can find out there. We sell this wine for $18.99 at the Wine Rack. So come check out these Bargain Bordeaux's, as well as all the other great values we have 
from around the world wide here at the Wine Rack. Cheers. Thanks, John. Stick around. We have more secrets of bluegrass chefs coming up. The Wine Rack, bringing you wines, beers, spirits, and cheeses of the world for over 18 years. Local, independent, and now offering delivery from the heart of Crescent Hill and online at wineshoplouisville.com. Olive oil is an essential part of a healthy, low cholesterol diet, and it comes in all flavors at Z Olive, home to the finest extra virgin olive oils from around the world. And you can try all of them before you buy. Z Olive also has a wide variety of fine balsamic vinegars, great locale flavorings for everything from ice cream to steaks, marinades, and glazes. Z Olive makes the perfect gift, or make it your secret ingredient. Taste the finest at Z Olive in Westport Village. Zooker is the free app to find great deals to local restaurants and merchants. Find coupons, join local businesses' loyalty clubs, and play games right from your mobile phone. Save 50% at local restaurants like Public House by Against the Grain, Sweat Hogs, Derby City Pizza, and many more. Help support local businesses while you save money. Check out all the great deals on Zooker. Download Zooker and start saving big today. X-O-O-K-E-R. Zooker. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of the Kentucky Beef Council. Beef is still what's for dinner. Welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm with my broadcast partner, Kevin Harden, and today we have the honor of cooking with Lee Mayfield from the Louisville Thoroughbred Society, and we're making a chipino. Yeah, and I tell you, during the commercial break, we said we we're gonna bring this up to a boil. It's, it's pretty much there, and then from that point, you said, let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. Yes, sir. We don't have that much time. We'll run out, so uh, <laughs> right. we'll pretend that we're going to simmer this down, but what's the next step? So we're gonna, the first step with this is any shellfish you have. So in this case, I have mussels mm. and clams, then I also have salmon and shrimp. In this case, you wanna add your shellfish first. You're gonna add that until it, they start opening up. And then at that point, your fish, your shrimp and your fish only take about five minutes after that point. Okay. So we're gonna put these straight in there. We got oh. some nice can Canadian mussels. And I believe the clams are from Canada as well. And, and you can see they're already opening up. Yep. And and then they add flavor to it. So the uh, kind so, of the liquor that's inside. That's it. So the bouillie base itself is really just to play a background to the seafood. If you tasted the bouillie base by itself, it's not going to have any kind of characteristics that'll kind of stick out to you. What you want is that to play the supporting role to these, these great seafoods that we're doing. Interesting. All right. So now once our mussels and our clams start to open up, you can immediately put your salmon uh, chunked up. This is belly. We get about 30 to 40 pounds of salmon in that we cut hand cut. Uh, for most part, the belly that we is underutilized, we you know is usually scrap. So we use the they want playing in the tradition of trapino with the off cuts. We use the salmon belly, which is also the fatty, most flavorful parts. All right. Put that straight in. And then we have our uh, 8 to 12 gigantic shrimp that we get flown in uh, weekly as well. I'll tell you what, that's the good uh, salmon. Because you, when you go to a sushi restaurant, they charge you extra for that part of it because it is so the belly, fatty yeah, and yeah. delicious. So then at this point, we're going to, I mean, we'll literally just cook this for about five minutes until the fish turns, or the shrimp turn pink and the fish turns opaque, like white color. And after that, I mean, that's good to go. Once we do that, we can go ahead and plate and we'll add our garnishes as well. Yeah. All right, let's plate it up. All right. So it's a very simple plate up. If you're serving to multiple people, you want to try, you know, tr try to get it to where everybody gets a little bit of everything. Once again, your goodies. This one, this one's the opposite. You kind of can put your goodies in the bottom and then put your liquid on top so you're not splashing yourself. Mmm. It looks delicious. Oh, it looks absolutely fabulous. And right there. All right. And then, ideally, you don't really need anything. Like I said, this is a self-sustaining dish, but like I'll put a little bit of microgreens on top for a little bit of color. Color. And then you're gonna, you always gotta have some fresh baguette. Yes. That's where the kind of straight up Italian tradition as well, scarpetta, making, you know, scraping the bowl with your plate, with your yes. bread. Especially when you soak it in all that broth That's and goodness. Oh. <laughs> and there we go. That's there the, the, the chipino. Chipino from the Louisville Thoroughbred Society. 
I'm ready to take a taste. I know, I can't wait. I know our audience is going to be able to take a taste. What's your website again? My web, our website is LouisvilleThoroughbredSociety.com. It's a brand new website we just got up. It's very interactive. Right on the home page, it'll, it'll give you a link to how to, to inquire about a membership. Yeah, check it out. If you guys haven't uh, been or have friends or family that are members, go down, enjoy some of Lee's food. Uh, it's a spectacular place. For those of you in the audience, have you had fun watching the show with us here in person today? You guys have had a chance to take a taste. You'll get a taste of this, too, for everybody at home saying, how can I get there? That's easy to do. The website for that is mintjuleptours.com. We've got to go for now. We'll say goodbye, Lee. Thank you for being Thank here. You so much for we appreciate me. that. For Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Harned. We'll see you next time on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Great job. How do you like that? If you like Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV, you'll love to see it in person. Great time. Fabulous. Join us at the Secrets Kitchen Theater in Louisville's historic Paris town. This is a great experience. I love that. Watch top chefs reveal their secrets. And I don't really hold back on this stuff. Mm. And then taste everything they make. I love this. Delicious. You can also enjoy all the other fun and shopping Paris Town has to offer while you're there. We had a really good time. Get your tickets now online at mintjuleptours.com. And hurry, because space is limited. This is so good and so popular. Watch Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV and see it in person by going to mintjuleptours.com. It was outstanding. Make your reservations today. Still cooking. Appreciate you sharing the secrets. Riverhouse Restaurant and Raw Bar, now open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Featuring the cuisine of Chef John Veronese with a southern inspired menu and an emphasis on seafood with a spectacular raw bar. Riverhouse, right next to the water tower at 3015 River Road. Reservations recommended. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in-store or online at DineCompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family-owned and operated since 1982. At its finest, Volare. Inspired cuisine by Chef Josh Moore. Intimate dining, private events, and year-round patio seating. Savor Volare. Cocktails and dinners seven nights a week. Volare on Frankfurt Avenue. Explore Kentucky in style with Mint Julep Tours. Experiences for all your senses. Bourbon distilleries, horse country, Kentucky breweries and wineries. Culinary tours with special access to secrets of bluegrass chefs. Hassle-free fun for any size group, including corporate excursions and exclusive behind-the-scenes experiences crafted just for you. Mint Julep Tours, where the purpose of fun is to have some.